Hi, this is Ian Coleman from PIA. Uh, this is the weekly video analysis for FX majors for the week 14th of May 2018. Um, quite interesting that we saw a stalling in uh, buying in the dollar index last week. Our long term bias is still to the upside, but uh, there is scope for uh, a correction lower uh, at the beginning of this week. So we're going to break down some of the time frames. This is the weekly chart, dollar index, DXY. Um, we're looking for this first bearish Elliott wave formation to have completed. Uh, and we're now assessed as being in this probably mixed, volatile, choppy uh, correction to the upside. Now we can see that the majority of uh, last week's initial rally uh, got reversed. And there is scope for uh, further selling uh, going into this week. Only a weekly close under this sort of level, 91.50, would then form an evening doji star formation and uh, highlight the possibility uh, of further losses. But our medium term uh, focus is still around here, around 96, the figure, uh, and that's trend line resistance, potential of a right shoulder of a bearish head and shoulders pattern. So this would be the left shoulder, this would be the head, this would be the uh, right shoulder and obviously this would be the neckline um, and it's also a 50% pullback level of this sell-off so this is our medium term target to then get bearish on the dollar once more if we go to the daily chart here we can see uh, five wave sequence to the downside broken out of a channel formation to the upside we've actually got bespoke resistance coming in at 93.18 um, three times last week, uh, levels above there got sold into. Um, bespoke support this week is at 9180. Um, and if we look across here uh, to previous price action, we can see that that area has been quite pivotal. So levels to watch to the downside are going to be 9210, which is the reverse trend line support, and then 9180, uh, which is our bespoke support. And we're going to be looking at buying dollar dips uh, around uh, these levels for the week 14th of May. Now, if we reflect that bias back onto major currency pairs, let's just go to the weekly chart first uh, to highlight while we're still bearish or long term bearish on euro dollar. OK, we've broken a wedge formation to the downside. Quite an impulsive move. Uh, the opposite of the dollar index in the, the fact that the majority of uh, last week's initial losses have been recaptured. We have bespoke support 118.07. We just missed that to the downside. We've got a 161.8% um, extension level here. So we're looking for this move higher again to be corrective. Um, we've got a Marabuzo level located around about 120.38. We're looking for rallies to be sold into, and then we're looking for another drive lower uh, towards this sort of level, um, 114.90, uh, which is a 261.8% extension level, or around about 115.60. If we go back to the daily chart, and this sort of highlights while we're our levels where we're looking to uh, get short again uh, in this major currency pair. So Morning Doji Star uh, has been posted which highlights the short term bias being to the upside. However, we've got a 23.6% pullback level here at 119.78. We've got a 38.2% pullback level here at 120, uh, 2073. Now, the reason that we've highlighted both of those levels uh, is because they're uh, common pullback levels for fourth wave corrections. So if there's an Elliott wave formation, this would be one, two, down in three, and then up in four before we take the drive lower in uh, in the fifth wave. Now we've got reverse trend line resistance coming in at 120.10. We've got our bespoke resistance at 120.20. So that's going to be the area uh, that we're going to be focusing on this week uh, to try and get short again in uh, in euro dollar. And obviously to play euro dollar to the downside while the dollar index moves again to the upside. Uh, sterling dollar. We're highlighting the most, what we believe are the most significant uh, chart or time frames 
uh, for the different currency pairs. So here we see a five wave completion to the upside, bearish outside week, strong move to the downside, and then we've posted this doji style candle from last week, which highlights indecision. Now, reverse trend line resistance is going to come in around about 137.45. And we've got our bespoke resistance at 137.24. So that's going to be our prime area again this week uh, to try and get short and take uh, sterling dollar further to the downside. If we look to the weekly chart, here we can see 137.24. This area here, it was support, okay, with the swing low um, from the uh, 3rd of January was at let's just have a look uh swing low 137.12 so that then becomes resistance okay so what was support becomes resistance so we've got 137.12 we've got our bespoke level again um, as we've highlighted at 137.24 and then we've got this 23.6 percent pullback level the fact that we've had such a strong sell-off normally highlights as well that any corrections that we get to the upside are limited so 23.6 um, is probably uh, going to be the Fibonacci uh, retracement level to focus on this week. Dollar Swiss, again, we're just highlighting the chart that has the most uh, significant technical view for this week. We've broken this wedge formation to the upside. We've got reverse trend line support coming in at 98.94. Now, we've got our bespoke support at 98.90 so again this is our sort of prime area that we're going to look to get long in dollars again and there's in this case dollar swiss uh, to take this currency pair further to the upside and our long-term target like we highlighted last week is going to be around about 106 the figure 106.50 over the uh, over the long term now dollar cad not uh, as easy uh, easy no, nothing's really easy but not uh, highlighting uh, any sort of confluence areas uh, for this uh, this currency pair um, next week the long-term bias is still to the upside we've got trend line resistance located at 137 um, sorry 131.12 but the fact that we posted this bearish outside week uh, with levels above the Ishimoku cloud being sold into means that we could see more of a sustained correction to the downside uh, this week we've got our support located at 127.60 and uh, we can note uh, that levels around there were bought into twice last week but um, the, the follow-through buying has been limited um, and we're really going to be quite cautious of, uh, of dollar cad uh, this week for the potential of a stronger correction to the downside um, a break of 128.31 which is our bespoke resistance comes in around about here and then we turn bullish once more but at the moment pretty much in no man's land uh, for uh, dollar cad and we need to see some sort of decent price action around some relevant levels which we, we just haven't got at the moment strangely enough um, the fact that we think that there might be a deeper um, or a deeper correction in dollar cad we also think that there's possibility for a higher uh, correction in uh, in Aussie dollar so if we look to this chart here this is the weekly chart we can see wave one wave two and then strong sell-off spikes doji formations under the 161.8 percent extension level at 75.13 now the reverse trend line resistance for this wedge breakout is seen at 76.54 and our bespoke resistance is at 76.49 so there's scope for a, a pretty strong corrective recovery uh, in Aussie dollar this week and normally if you see that in one of the commodity pairs you'll see it in another so again scope for dollar CAD to move further to the downside scope for Aussie dollar to move further to the upside but with the bias still being uh, in, in the case of Aussie dollar still on lower levels so 76.50 is sort of the area that we're going to be looking at and if we break down to a, a daily chart um, we can see here that there's pretty mixed volatile trading there's even scope for maybe a dip to be bought into early on next week and a reverse head and shoulders 
being posted. So this will be a left shoulder, head, potential right shoulder, and then to move higher towards uh, this 7650 level. Also, what we should note, uh, swing lows uh, in April and then swing highs in December. So again, this level being pretty pivotal and we wouldn't expect much of a move uh, above 7650 next week. Cut across currencies, euro sterling. Um, we posted a 13 count. We limited. We actually took our um, profit in the, in euro uh, sterling uh, up around these levels. We're now flat. Um, most significant level really for this week. I'm expecting this cross currency to be mixed volatile. Um, we've got a Mario Buzo level from uh, Thursday's price action after the B of E uh, at 87.80. We've got our bespoke support at 87.84. This level, again, has been quite pivotal. So going into next week, we're looking to buy dips, but the long-term pitch is pretty mixed. And this whole move to the upside, with it being very mixed, very volatile, looks corrective. And um, we are going to be looking for topping formations uh, in Euro Sterling for a medium-term uh, sell trade. Euro Yen. And again, I think we should break down the time frames here. Um, bearish outside month, Marabuzo has held. Uh, we've moved to the downside, but dips have been bought. Uh, weekly chart, we can see this first uh, impulse move to the downside, which has caused that, um, that bearish outside month and obviously left that Marabuzo level. The scope for this to be a free wave correction, um, but over the long to medium term, this level here, 115, the figure with it being a previous swing low and a 261.8% extension level is our prime focus. Um, breaking down to the daily chart, and here we saw a move lower from levels close to the 50% pullback level. We broke the channel formation to the downside, but we've moved back inside. Prime um, short entry at the beginning of the week is at 131, the figure. Now that is our bespoke resistance and it's also this Ishimoko cloud. So again, the medium term picture is a little bit mixed. We are out of our uh, short trade uh, in this cross currency um, and um, we're looking to sell into rallies over the sort of medium term. So 131, the figure is our first resistance level we'll break there and we're probably going to have to reassess uh, where we think the long term uh, bearish uh, trigger should be in euro yen okay i hope um, you find the videos beneficial and uh, we'll keep you informed of any changes in any of these uh, these long-term views uh, in the major currency pairs have a great week thank you very much